Swimming a worm has been around since the invention of soft plastics, but over the last 20 years, bait companies have started making swimming worms. And for that reason, we have gotten this worm to do a lot more than just swim. Now, yesterday's video, I talked about baits that you have to have if you're fishing the grass during the spawn, but I left out a few of my favorite ways to fish this bait. And it's not just a spawning fish bait. You can throw it in the summer. You can fish it on the ledges. You can fish this shallow in the pre-spawn because of that kicking tail gives off a lot of vibration. But another way that you can fish this bait is on top. Now, this kicking tail is the same reason that you can really swim it and keep it off the bottom because of that pole. It works the same way when you're fishing it on top. That tail will buzz. You can boil it right under the surface. And the cool thing about this bait is there's so much plastic. It's such a big bait. You don't have to put a weight on it to cast it. You can throw this a mile with just a hook. You know, if you want to do a screw lock hook or just put a super line hook on it and throw it on braid, which is my way I like to fish it, and just fish it around submergent vegetation, reeds, lily pads, hay grass, sawgrass whatever you have in your lake, and it generates some really big strikes. Now another way to fish this, and this one's kind of crazy, but it works, is to punch this big bait. Now everyone punches. Everyone flips mats, beavers, craws, those fish see that all the time. If you give them a little different option, it can get you another bite or two, and it's just completely different. It's got a lot of plastic there, so you don't have to worry about your hook popping out of the bait. It's something that uh, the fish just don't see, and that kicking tail has that same pulling action that your craw and beaver style baits have. So there's another application. Now this bait is good everywhere. I learned to throw this in Florida, but the more I get away from Florida, the more I realize that this bait starts being good when that water gets in the mid-50s and is really good up until the water starts dropping off in the fall. So if you have not thrown this bait, typically known as a speed worm, this one specifically is a burning worm or just the good old fashioned swimming worm, you need to try it. Let me know how it works for you guys and I'll see you on the water.